So for this problem, we're going to be using conservation of energy, specifically potential energy and rotational kinetic energy. So I've drawn a little picture of the situation here. We have the rod, um, this long thing. It's up at an angle of 60 degrees. And then we're just going to let it go and let it fall. And our task is to find what the speed of the tip is when it's at the horizontal position. So basically, we just need to find out, we're going to use conservation of energy, but we need to set up some specific expressions for that. So we know that the potential energy before plus the kinetic energy, uh, rotational kinetic energy before, is equal to the potential energy after plus the rotational kinetic energy after. So if we look at this situation, the potential energy of the rod before is... Well, potential energy, gra gravitational potential energy is mgh. So m is just the mass of the rod, g is g, but what's h? h is going to be where the mass, like where the center of mass of the rod is. So it's actually not up here at the end, it's in the middle of the rod. So at a length of one meter as I've drawn here. So that's mg delta h, and we'll come back to h in a minute. And then rotational kinetic energy, we know is one half i omega squared. And we'll come back to that. So we have that mgh is equal to one half i omega squared. Um, let's start with delta h. What's the change in height of the center of mass of the rod between the, the first position and then secondly when it's at the horizontal? Well, it's this distance here, this white dotted line. And because the center of mass is at this distance of one meter along the rod, and that it's an angle at, of, at an angle of 60 degrees, we know that this is one times sine of 60 degrees, which is just root three over two meters. So that's delta H right here. We have that. So we'll be able to use that here. Now what is I, what's omega squared? So omega squared is going to be the rotational velocity Sorry, yeah, the angular velocity of the rod, which we will use to find the speed of the tip. I is the moment of inertia of the rod. And that's something that you would normally just look up. For a rod of uniform mass, the moment of inertia when it's spinning about this point, the, about its end, is one-third times the mass of the rod times L squared. So that's I. Now, applying everything that we know, we have mgh is one half i omega squared. So mg delta h is one half times i, which we got from over here. We're gonna plug in one half times one third ml squared times omega squared. The masses cancel. You can multiply the one half one third to get one sixth. And it simplifies to this. We can reorganize that a little bit, uh, divide by one sixth l squared on both sides. And we get that omega is the square root of 6g delta h over l squared. Now we can actually plug in values. 6g is 9.8 meters per second squared. Delta h, we calculated it before. It's root 3 over 2 meters. And l is the length of the entire rod, which we know from the problem is 2 meters. So using all of that, we get that omega, the angular velocity of the rod, is 3.57 radians per second. Now, we know that the velocity of any point along the rod is the angular velocity times that point's distance away from um, the origin. So if we're trying to find the velocity of the tip. So V tip is the angular velocity of the entire rod times the distance that the tip is away from the end of the rod, which is just the length of the rod. So that's just going to be L. And I've already kind of done the calculation here, but omega R tip or omega L is 3.57 radians per second, like we just found, and then times two meters, which will give you 7.14 meters per second. 